The Saginaw Spirit are pleased to select with the first overall pick in the 2022 OHL priority selection, Michael Misa from the Mississauga Senators. Yeah, you know, we felt very fortunate that, you know, once we did receive the first overall pick and, and he was granted exceptional status, you know, something like that doesn't happen a lot within our league and, and the CHL in general. So for our franchise, that was a big moment for us. And to be able to, be able to you know, get Michael and select him and bring him into the franchise and get to know him as a person, his family and how he was raised. First of all, off the ice, he's, a, he's an unreal person, very humble. Um, comes from a great family and then on the ice you know everybody's seen the highlights and, and it's not just the highlights what he can bring you know the the high-end skill the game-breaking ability the the ability to make players around him better and make plays under pressure in small areas and that's kind of where the game's going it the game's really fast as you know and um you need to be able to produce and make plays quick and and think and have that elite hockey IQ and obviously he has that and he was granted exceptional status for a reason and and we're real excited here to get him get him started in our program and and play our style and I think he'll really thrive in it. The Saginaw Spirit are pleased to select with the 19th overall pick in the 2022 OHL priority selection Zane Perek from the Markham Majors. Again an electric playmaker from the back end the, the modern age defenseman who can quarterback a power play and uh, make passes that we don't see up in the crowd and, and kind of bring you to your feet a little bit. And and as he grows into that position, you look at what guys like Kale McCarr has done in the NHL and, and Adam Fox and these type of defensemen, these dynamic defensemen that are great with the puck and they're high-end skilled and um, not to put pressure on Dane by putting him in the name of those players. But, you know, we feel that's the type of player he can become in our league. And again, when he gets in our system, we allow our D to jump in the rush. We allow our D to be part of that second wave of offense, fourth man up. And he loves getting up in the rush and kind of fits everything to a T. And again, an, an unbelievable kid too. Um, and we bring these young men into our program and, and if they're already great kids and great leaders from good families, then we feel we've hit a home run with him and, and we're real, real excited to watch him play. There has been one pick me. The Saginaw Spirit have gone to uh, Bodie Stewart of the uh, Mississauga Senators. Yeah, Bodie's actually a player we targeted heading into the draft. We didn't know if he would be there with that first pick in the second round um, because of the compensation picks in the draft. This year, our second round pick, first pick and second round pick was a little bit later. Um, but Bodie's a you know a fast player, ultra competitive. I just think that guys, you win with guys like Bodie Stewart in your lineup. Um, a lot of skill, a lot, a lot of speed, um, can play up and down your lineup, can play any way you want, but ultra competitive, he's a hound on pucks, and at the end of the day, he's a winner. And, and you look at him and what he did in the OHL Cup, and the OHL Cup finally produced again when it mattered. He scored big goals for his team and, and helped put his team on his shoulders to, to win that championship. You just you look at him and in that final game and the way he played, you, you just kind of knew he had that mentality that they weren't going to lose that game. And we kind of see him in a mold like a Josh Bloom type um, as he gets older in our in our league. And, and you can see what Josh has done in our league and, and the signed NHL prospect. So um, we're excited about Bodie as well. Yeah, we felt that Josh maybe was a little bit undervalued because, you know, he's playing in, in, the, in the Alliance and that's a great league and everything. Um, but, you know, in Lampton team, he's the captain of that team. And maybe people didn't give him the credit that he deserved as a player at times. But... Um, he's a heck of a player. Um, we just think that we can develop him into a, a very, very good D-man in our league. That's a two-way style that can eat up a lot of minutes, that plays the game the right way, plays a hard, ultra-competitive winner, leader. The, the best thing about Josh, too, is he's been around the game his whole life. He, he knows the OHL. Um, he knows what it takes to win. He's seen players go through a really good program in Sarnia. Um, he's been around his whole life, and, and we've had the luxury of our head coach, Chris Lazary, has known him since he's a young man, a little boy in Sarnia. So we knew the background and his makeup and his character and, and all that translated into then watching him as a player. We knew the rest of it checked the boxes, but watching him as a player, and I think there's a lot of development in him left, and I think he's going to be a real, real good player in our league and, and potentially a real good pro. He's got size, he can move, he's a late birthday as well, so you know there's a lot of growth left in his game. And um, again, another player that we feel he can win with, and we're excited to have him as part of our program.